Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between fusion welding and solid state welding. Welding is one type of manufacturing process by which two or more similar or dissimilar materials can be joined permanently by weld bead formation with or without the application of external pressure, heat or filler material. Both fusion welding and solid state welding provide permanent joints. So, Let's look into the basic differences between fusion welding and solid state welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In fusion welding, faying surfaces of the base metals are fused to form coalescence during welding. Filler metal, if fused, is also fused, whereas, no such melting takes place in solid state welding. However, the base metals may be heated to an elevated temperature without melting. Number 2. In fusion welding, application of heat during welding is necessary. Heat can be applied by various means such as electric arc, fuel gas flame, resistance heating, laser beam, etc. Whereas, in solid state welding, no such heat source is usually required, but pressure may be applied externally for welding. Number 3. In fusion welding, filler material can be applied easily, whereas, usually no filler is applied in solid state welding. Number 4. In fusion welding, because of excessive heating, noticeable heat affected zone exists surrounding the weld bead, whereas, heat affected zone is usually not noticeable in solid state welding. A narrow heat affected zone may exist in certain cases. Number 5. In fusion welding, mechanical and metallurgical properties of the parent materials are severely affected during fusion welding because of intense heating, whereas, mechanical properties usually remain unaltered in solid state welding. Sometimes minor changes may occur. Number 6. Dissimilar metal joining by fusion welding is a challenging task, especially if the duo have substantially different melting points and coefficients of thermal expansion, whereas, Joining of dissimilar metal is comparatively easier by solid state welding processes as melting and solidification are not involved here. Number 7. Level of distortion is very high in fusion welding owing to excessive heat input per unit area, whereas, solid state welding produces minimal distortion. Number 8. In fusion welding, joint design and edge preparation are not crucial. These parameters mainly influence achievable penetration. Whereas, in solid state welding, joint design, edge preparation and surface preparation are crucial here as the processes require specific mating surfaces. And, difference number 9, examples of fusion welding processes include, different types of arc weldings, different types of gas weldings, different types of resistance weldings, different types of intense energy beam weldings as we can see here, whereas, examples of solid state welding processes include, cold welding, roll welding, pressure welding, diffusion welding, friction welding, friction stir welding, forge welding, etc. as we can see here.